Right? Reading is a dangerous thing. All the, all the books about love that you read um, make, makes you act in a certain way. The, the epigraph of the book comes from La, La Rochefoucauld, and it's, it's people, people wouldn't fall in love if they hadn't heard love talked about. And the first time that was quoted to me, I was quoted as people wouldn't fall in love if they hadn't read about it. So um, that's, that's in a way what, what this book is about. It was debatable whether or not Madeline had fallen in love with Leonard the first moment she'd seen him. She hadn't even known him then, and so what she felt was only sexual attraction, not love. Even after they had gone out for coffee, she couldn't say that what she was feeling was anything more than infatuation. But ever since the night, they went back to Leonard's place after watching Amarcord and started fooling around. When Madeline found that instead of being turned off by physical stuff, as she often was with boys, Instead of putting up with that or trying to overlook it, she'd spent the entire night worrying that she was turning Leonard off. I, I had such an experience reading Anna Karenina of um, being absorbed in, in the story um, and, and swept along and captivated that I, that I realized that that was an, an intrinsic value in, in literature that shouldn't be lost even if you're trying to do other things, even modernist, you know, modernist experiments, mm -hmm. um, to, to lose what really is essential in, in the novels seemed to me a, a, a kind of waste. Mm -hmm. On the wall of his bedroom, he painted the words, kill the father. Killing the father was what, in Barry's opinion, college was all about. Who's your father? He asked Madeline. Is it Virginia Woolf? Is it Sontag? In my case, Madeline said, my father really is my father. Then you have to kill him. A month or so later, Madeline got rid of Barry instead. Thank you.